So good evening everybody and welcome back to FTRL. It is night two of season 24 kickoff week and we are here with our first installment of GT2 for the season and it is a double header race here at the Autopolis circuit in Japan. Uh, lots to go through tonight um, as we pick apart the, uh, the beginnings of another new season and uh, to help me go through this is a uh, former GT3 champion uh, and current GT1 racer. It is Mr. Jade on himself. Good evening James. Good evening. How are we? Oh, I'm very well. How are you? Uh, I'm breathing. I'm breathing. That's a good start. It, it you, you're already ahead of Simon. You're already ahead of Simon in that sense. Oh, there we go. Exactly. See, I'm, I'm, I'm overperforming already. Superb work. Superb work. Like your style. And so we are waiting for Josie. Though, for God's sake, Josie. Now, Josie. Now is the time, he's Josie. A, he's a, he's oh, here a he is. Here. Finally. Finally, right when I get started, then. So, GT2 kicking off then for the first time. Ten week season, as uh, as is in GT3, as is in GT1 tomorrow. Um, and it's a little bit different this season. Um, <laughs> let's let him straight in with the abuse for you. I apologise. Ah, he's going to get fingered anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so a new season and something quite different this season uh, for both GT1 and GT2. Um, so, let's have a look at what this season looks like then. So, we've got two different formats to the season for GT2 and GT1. In fact, the we'll get to some that first. GT1 and GT2 are teaming up again this season, as they did two seasons ago. Um, so there are teams in both uh, both divisions. Uh, the aid is to try and get each other practicing, help each other along, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, but first, though, we've got... Um, the first car they're going to be using this season is the Porsche Cayman GT4. Uh, now, this championship is an individual element. There's no team chairman element for this bit. It's just for the individuals. So different liveries. We, no, maybe not so easy to uh, tell who's teammates in this one. Uh, this is going to be a sprint race. Now, also, just to throw a little spanner in the mix as well, uh, it's sports soft tyres only for the Porsches. Um, and then after that, we're going to move on to the super fast, super quick, super grippy, super formula cars uh, for the first time in FGRL as a full season car. Um, <laughs> done it once before, I think, as part of one of the other seasons. It was a fire. You got there. I got there. Yeah, that's... Um, so we have that to look forward to as well. Now that is the team's element to that one. So we'll see team drivers teaming up, same liveries in both GT1 and GT2. And uh, that works towards the, uh, the Constructors Championship. Uh, so separate championships for both races, starting off with the Porsches. And uh, let's see how we get on then. Sports soft tyres is going to make a bit of a mix. I don't know how much practice you've got in yet, James. How are you, how are you finding these Porsches on these tyres? Um, it's, it's, it's sliding. It doesn't grip well. And once you get the braking right, I think you're okay. But I'm I'm probably about the flat 15s maybe, in time wise, which I think some of the GT2 boys are, are doing as well. I mean, it just shows the pace really between GT1 and GT2 at the moment. I think it's very, two very really safe, really quick. Yeah, yeah GT1 and GT1.5, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Unless you unless you switch back. Yeah, unless you Zach. Um, what about you yourself? Yeah, um, it's taking a bit of getting used to, but uh, yeah, I guess similar pace in the Porsches. Uh, Super Formula is proving a little bit trickier, but we'll, we shall see. Um, and we're going to throw it coming in there. Do matter the Porsches on quick fit tyres, absolutely, mate. <laughs> so Biggles then nice. is going to lead us round, and we'll go on board with him then for a lap. Oh, well, top of the short then, so the short circuit for the Porsches, the long GP loop for the Super Formula cars later. Can Down the start, say, finish straight. I, I think he wins best livery. It's bright, certainly. Um, so we're going down in towards turn one. Look for your braking marker. Of course, we've got to factor in these tyres. Aren't going to be as grippy as the racing, but he's got it stopped and turned nicely for turn one. It's a blind crest. So he can't see it as you enter the braking zone, so you've got to trust that it's there. And he nailed that one nicely. Then now the run down through the kink of turn two into turn three. Another good overtaking opportunity here. Again, having to just be a little bit tentative. These tyres haven't got the same grip as the racing ones. Then into the double left. Try and keep it as tight as you can. And fire it into the hairpin. Down to second gear. He's going to go down to first. He does just quickly though, just to get the car rotated. And then the speed starts to build through the soft right hander and into this long left. And get in as close as you can to the kerb. It will open up an exit so we can pick up the throttle. Nice down there by Biggles. And through this right kink, up the hill, looking for a braking reference for the hairpin again. It's unsighted. So you've got to trust that the apex is going to be there for you. Gets it stops and turn nicely there, hogging that inside kerb through the dip and then picks up the throttle over the kerb out of the final corner. 
And it's a sprint to the line. And the first time on the board is a 15-6 from Biggles. So he lays down the first market. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, now to... it's a difficult sector two, I'd say, around here. Yes. Um, that's when you lose and gain all your time. I think we'll see uh, races won and lost, depending on how consistent and how quick people are through there. Absolutely. So let's um, have a look at the, uh, the runners and riders in GT2 this season. So first on the screen is Biggles, of course, who's down from GT1 this season. Uh, had a bit of a rough ride in that Super last season in GT1, but uh, having to build back up again and uh, be at the pointy end of GT2. We know he's a quick boy, so I think he'll be uh, a definite threat for the title, depending on how he gets yeah. on with the Super Formula Cup. But after the first runs, he is on provisional pole, and that's a uh, very, very pink Porsche one, as uh, Sean just called it. Yeah, there's a few, there's 17 already in the chat, so I'll quickly say okay. hello to everyone. Don't forget to like hello, that stream. Hello, 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 everyone. We've got, we've got Sean, we've got Fever, we've got Ron, we've got Aaron, we've got, we've got, oh, Cray, the sexiest voice in FTRL. We've got Motorhub Media, we've got Derek, uh, we've got Owen, unfortunately, and unfortunately Mike <laughs> as well. So, how are we doing, boys? This should be, this should be a really good season, though. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I think the, the, Difficulty with the Super Formula, I think, is going to throw in a few unexpected results. I think, maybe. Um, blue flag has just gone on to provisional pole. Uh, he hasn't loaded, so I don't know what his car actually looks like. Yeah. Now, uh, oh, who is that? Is, is big... dipping some tyres into the grass. Was it was it blue flag you were talking about? Then? It was indeed. Uh, he's got a lovely octane, sort of like a Manchester City blue, but a bit darker. Hope that will load up for the rest. But, uh, yeah, runners and riders, and who have we got in GT2 this season? Well, well on screen is FGRL Blue Flag, stalwart of FGRL, former GT2 champion. Uh, I think he ended up third last season, so a strong season in the corner. But he'll be hoping to go a little bit better this time around. And starting strongly with provisional pole at the moment, then behind him is Biggles, who we already touched on down from GT1. But uh, expect to see him at the pointy end of this one. Third is Zach, then, aforementioned uh, in the Doritos. Uh, original car designed by yours truly <laughs> he'll be expecting a better season than last season uh, uh, I don't think it could be way. much worse <laughs> he had no. a, by his own stand admission acquired a bit of a stinker last season so hopefully this will be a bit better for him uh, everyone's finishing their last laps now already oh, a quick session only five minutes and again it's a switch pack to the Dusty Fossil reigning GT3 champion he is back in GT2 after that That's a great dramatic and a great season for Darling. Uh, oh, Jordan. Jordan to the pole. Well in. Jordan with a 15-5 then. So Jordan in the second Doritos car. He's, uh, he's teammates with Zach. Um, it, of course, he, former he, GT3 he is champion a group as well. Four merchant. He is a Group 4 merchant. Group I will four merchant. give him that. Oh, we're expecting big things from him then. Well, he's, uh, he's popped it on provisional pole by the look of it then. So great job from him. Uh, uh, got their laps. Panda as well. Panda's back with us again. After a strong season last year and won a course at Spa. Um, got Joker, of course, the man who was part of that titanic battle for the GT3 championship last season. He's back in GT2, teaming up with uh, Dusty Fossil in, once again, the Sim Demon colours. Lennon, the man who gave it his all to try and overhaul Dark Knight, but came up just a little bit shy last season. He's got to be one of the strong favourites to uh, reclaim the GT2 crown. That very nice Oreo livery there. And we've got Homer, again, whose livery hasn't loaded. Um, but he was looking very good in pre-season testing in that Super Formula yeah. car, so it'd be interesting to see a how he gets on. livery. No, there we go. Uh, aforementioned, not now, it's Jonesy. He's a nice grid find delivery there. Uh, we've got Unsafe Release then back full-time in GT2. He sort of dib dibbed and dabbed in GT3 and GT1 last season. And we placed him in the middle, and he's back there, and uh, that livery is superb from him. So I expect to see yet more great-looking cars on the grid from him. Nobby Norris back with us again. Nice to have Nobby here, and he's got a P12 there, so he's uh, he's not on the back there. He was he's been saying all day he's uh, he's battling for P14, and well, he's got himself a P12 in qualifying. And then Royston there in the Jaffa Cake livery car, I think, uh, he won't be missing that car either. He is uh, qualified 13th, and then our industrious leader himself, Mr. Aaron Taylor, is the 14th. Uh, finally, one taking a qualifying ban because he was a naughty boy. Earlier today. Earlier today. He has been. Well, he's a naughty boy every night, to be honest, but today's not. Oh, yes, he's a really naughty boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
So there are your 14 runners and riders then. So let's get some predictions in the oh. chat then. Who do we think is going to be the Porsche champion for GT2 this season? Who's your money on early, James? Are you going to go put it on Jordan? Um, for the Porsches, I would say there are... I'd give it between four drivers, I think, that could potentially win it. I'd say Arsenal, Simon, uh, Biggles and Lennon, I would say, would be up there. Yeah. Fever's just pointed out the top 11 have qualified within half a second of each other. So that and is how close this field is. Uh, yeah, it, it is. And it, it, it's going to be like that all season. I mean, this Porsche, with the sports soft tyres as well, I think it really has brought the grid closer together. I mean, if you look at that, Nobby Norris is 16-2 in 12th. And I think Jordan's is 15-7. 15-5 for him. 15-5. So. so less than a second separates the, the, uh, the whole grid. But <laughs> starts Jordan's. about to get underway. Jordan's already uh, playing down his chances of winning this. No, yeah, Jordan, no, of I, want, I, want, I want confidence from you. It's almost like Owen, qualifying second, then full starting and coming second. <laughs> Don't jump the start. Do not jump Don't the start. Don't jump the start, boys. Don't jump the start. We've got a, a double race winner from yesterday in the chat as well. Good evening, Mr. Zomar. Bob says that's insane. The qualifying performance then, but we've got five red lights. Away we go. It's a tiny start from a couple of cars. Biggles and I think Dusty Foster have had slow starts. Joe oh, gets the jump on his well teammate. There. But Jordan's got a great launch to switch back. We've got the Biggles and Blue Flag side by side on the inside for turn one. But Jordan will lead, switch back, sweeps around the outside into third. And then goes on the grass immediately. Well, they all get away through cleanly. But Jordan then got, like... got off to an absolute flyer. But look at that pack in there. It's three wide, four wide in the pack. Oh, contact there. Switch back's been bumped off. Off goes Panda on the outside. Who was that? I think I might have been Homer who's up the inside and there was a bit of a concertina. And it was Panda who's lost out massively. Jordan yeah. leads him by just under a second. As they make their way out of the hairpin for the first time. Blue flag in second, Biggles in third, Joker's up to fourth, he's had a good start, then Homer fifth, Lennon in sixth, then switch back down to seventh. Who's that going wide in the background? Dusty Fossil is in eighth and Jonesy ninth. Aaron's up to tenth. He's had a good start on the grass there. It's unsafe for Lease. It's come back on. It's contact with Royston. I think he got unsettled there by Jonesy's lag. Nobby Norris as well also caught up in the outside and Panda recovering after his being shunted off. Back up to 13th then, but across the line for the first time of 12. Jordan's weaving. He doesn't need to weave. You've got your out of slipstream race, Jordan. You don't need to. Yeah, 0.75, that's, that's the gap you need to worry about. If you're over that, you're fine. We do, we do end up calling him the uh, the, the warrior. The he, he says sorry for everything. Bless him. He's probably apologising to Simon for being out of slipstream range right now. <laughs> but Leather then has made his way up to P5, so he's making good progress there after a below par qualifying by his standards. Yeah, front three stay the same though. So that's uh, good going from them lads. Um, Zach won't be very happy, but uh, he's also Scottish, so uh, they go hand in hand. Absolutely. Love you, Zach. I think Homer's had a good start, hasn't he? He didn't start at the like seat. He obviously lost one place to Lennon, but uh, yeah, had a good start there. It was four wide into turn two on lap one, and uh, might have had a contributing factor into Panda's accident, but uh, they've carried on. Yeah, so he's a bit it. busy on that first lap, so very easy for contact to happen. 29 watching already, welcome. Welcome all. Great Two GT3 the first boys as well from last Ooh. season, Joker and uh, Derek. They're doing fantastic. Oh, Simon's had a bit Not of a slide Derek, there through the hairpin. Carl. Oh, 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 I shouldn't have said anything, should I? So Simon haven't got to within about four tenths of Jordan. Had a big slide through the final corner, and that gap has gone back out to nine tenths then. Meanwhile, Lennon is looking at Joker for P4. Side by side, down we've got a, a ten-car train, I believe, at the minute. We do Aaron in the back of it. Lennon down the inside. Gets a stop. Joker's got a good momentum off the corner, though, but runs into the back of Lennon. Biggles has had a good run as well out of that corner. He's got a lot yeah, closer to Simon here. Over the back of him, he's got purple in sector one. About a quarter of a second. Three of 12. Like then under big pressure then, so Jordan's got a 1.4 second gap now. So he's trying to check out. Blue flag, well, is he about to start reverting to type and driving in his mirrors? is the human roadblock at times but at the minute he's got himself a little bit of a gap again so he can focus on trying to close down on Jordan again because not yeah. immediately on the tail of him into the hairpin there 
Owen's rooting back. for everyone in the uh, in the race, Lee, if you'd like to hear. He said he's rooting <laughs> for my former teammate Lennon, Jordan, my ex GT3 grid mates Carl and Joker. So he's Owen's rooting for the whole grid of GT2. So Probably come on, the boys. Them. Yeah, well done. Cover all. No, don't upset anyone, Owen. Play the play. Play the 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 nice guy. There you go. That works. There you go. It works. <laughs> It works. <laughs> Lee, don't don't say anything. It works. Absolutely. So Panda has made his progress back up to P11. Then he just got ahead of Royston. Um, slip and slid Ooh, out. Of up inside of Hobart. Yeah, slip and it's slid out of that corner. Scott Allowed and Scott action. Yeah. Allowed the cool tangy Dorito man to get in. Yeah, the glass has a bit of a wiggle. And, uh, Dusty Fossil now starting to come under pressure from his uh, godson. Yes. And, uh, we inspired the uh, the milk liveries back once again. Homer's had a good That's run up the hill though. Is he going to look for a move back on switch back into the hairpin? Pops to the inside, but not close enough to make a move. Now and closing in then. So these four are just a little bit detached there. Joker's got 1.1 seconds. We start lap five then. He was doing a personal best there, 15.5. Lennon's gone faster than the qualifying time, so the speed is there for him. Homer's giving Zach a little bit of a bump drop there. Yeah, Homer's designed to work together, which is smart at this stage of the race. You don't want to get too disattached from that front five. They can the gap has dropped in. at the lead as well to a second. Yeah, Jordan still comfortable at the minute then. Down the slide there, Lennon having a little bit of a drift. James is still on the back of this train despite losing that place to Aaron. And then Panda's now trying to bridge that gap, then having passed uh, Royston. Unsafe is now also passed the Jaffa Cake Cart. So these two are teammates, uh, as you can tell by their equal liveries. Norby Norris, uh, still in touch of the back there, not too far off the back of Royston. Oh, here we go then for the fifth time. And now Lennon is starting to work on the back of Biggles a little bit. Joker hanging on as well. Joker going well. Homer's run a little bit wide of the hairpin there. And oh, Aaron's up the inside of Dusty Fossil at the final corner. And he's got that move done. Yes, he does. So he's up to eight. So that's six places now for Mr. Taylor. And Dusty Fossil slots back into the slipstream then. He's going to pop to the outside. Aaron defends the inside. Jones is trying to buy into this as well then. Looks to have got this covered. He's a big fan of our top. This does like the circuit. Goes well here as well. Improving that so far by making good progress in this one. Dusty Fossil though has had a good run out. Turn one. Looking for that inside line. And how is he on the brakes? Is he going to get back down the inside? Aaron, no, no. Later on the brakes. Swoops around the outside and retains P8. And now he starts yeah. to chase down Homer. Oh, he's going to get he's going to get Duff Man and Dorito boy just in front of him. So Lennon Joker's is now starting doing really to well. apply oh, some pressure to Biggles. And looking quick. The thing is about these group fours is eight tenths of, of a second is a huge gap. Because the slipstream as well isn't as powerful, it's much, much harder to get the overtakes done. I mean, Jordan's doing a great job out front, but he's lost two tenths there going a bit too deep. So someone's now in slipstream range. But like I say, Biggles has been in switching in range this whole time, just hasn't got close enough to do it. Yeah, Lennon's so dropped back a bit after that sector, but now he's got Joker two tenths right behind him. Could have a send here, Joker, maybe. Looks to it. Pop into the inside. He's just trying to disrupt Lennon. So think about these cars, because they're all in the same car. The the, the uh, slipstream isn't overly powerful, because obviously you've not really got much of an advantage. So it's all about the exits of the corners to, uh, to get a good run. Lee, you're a Liverpool fan, aren't you? I am indeed, I've just seen yes. <laughs> Bottle jobs. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, you lot can talk. Didn't bother to turn up second, last night. Our second string team, mate. Resting it for the big games. Got Lil on Wednesday, Thursday, sorry. I'm going to get ahead of myself. Anyway. Uh, Aaron is in ninth. Him and Carl just seem to be pegging each other. 
No, just um, push them back ahead then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of left them a little bit detached now because home is. Oh, blue flags run wide on the second to last corner. Big Oz is all over his ass crack. And that's going to be your chance then. Going to run down the oh, straight. Man who loves pegging. Yeah, he's. Oh, he's got away <laughs> with it there. <laughs> Sorry, he's closing. Though. He's closing, mate. Again, I don't think it's going to be close enough into turn one. Oh, Blue Fag's gone for a... Is he just showing in the mirrors? I think he was coming, coming from a long way back there. But I think he was just showing in the mirrors. Even in Witchell. And Big Oz has got to run here. Blue Fag's having to defend now. Now, this is what Jordan needs to see in his mirror, because if these two start battling, they're going to start holding each other up. Lennon's going to buy back into this as well. Yeah, the, the gap's already gaining for Jordan out front. All he needs is no mistakes and this four more laps and he'll be fine. Jonesy now all over the back of Aaron and Panda is very close to them as well so he's done really good to uh, close can't. that gap back up again switch back to the fastest lap of the race tell you what we can't good forget pace. Joker as well you know Joker is right on the back of this train as well Lennon trying to go he's the long sitting, way around yeah, he's sitting patiently just waiting here Joker's doing really well here yeah Lennon's really looking to get well. a run up the hill here and he's got one so Biggles might have to defend here he is so Biggles oh, defending Lennon's gone for the inside but finds a pink Porsche in his way Oh, Biggles is going to go deep though is he? he is Lennon's going to take that opportunity. Through he goes. It's unlucky there from Biggles. He's, he's done the right thing. It's just these sports are so short on the brakes. <laughs> set the trap. Oh. Lennon set the trap perfectly there. Made him defend the inside. And then he breaks at his normal point and just went straight on by. It does, however, that now means that he's got to then get past the Great Wall of China himself. The Great Wall of Mr. China. Mr. Blue Flag. Oh, he's very quickly I'm actually gone then. The flag has also got to within half a second of Jordan, but Jordan, who has led this from the pole, still up front then. The Joker is now on the back of Biggles and switchbacks there as well, and Homer's closing back in as well. Justin Fossil keeping out at arm's length. Jones is right there. And here come Unsafe and Panda. So Unsafe's also joining this little group. And we've got Royston in 13th. A little bit lonely at the minute, and Nobby also a little bit lonely, but the gaps still in touch there. If there's a mistake ahead of him, Ooh, Lennon's on the grass. Up the hill, they're trying to get a good run. It's close, not close okay. enough. He's run a bit deep. Biggles is now all over the back of Lennon again. Yeah, Lennon's had a bit of a poor run there, hasn't he? Blue flag has got a bit of a run here, so Jordan is now under pressure for the first time proper. He's having to defend. Blue flag's going to come over to so Jordan's best to come over and squeeze him a little bit here. That's it, that's it, good driving. Run him out to the curb. Don't be nice he's to him. Jordan's, oh, look Jordan's at that blue flag around the outside, he's got the momentum and blue flag leads. George just giving him a bit too much room there, yeah. but a bit too nice. Too much respect there, I think. Oh, Biggles up the inside of Lennon. Trying to defend from Joke at the same time. Switch back there as well. Home is not far away. Yeah, so the. Oh, is that the slide? Joke having a big slide there. But now, what's Jordan got there? Now he's following a car for the first time. And now he's got to attack and defend. As Lennon is very quickly back with him. So what can Blue Flag do now? All he needs to do is not panic here. Just keep your head down. Lennon needs to just keep pushing, trying to put some pressure on Jordan. Oh, Lennon Ooh, sends late it on the brakes there, giving him a bump. Blue Flag would have loved to see that because he's got him out of slipstream range. That said, he's had a poor exit. And Jordan is closing again now. So Jordan's held on to the position and Lennon's not attacking him. No, he's actually going to remove here into turn one on Joker as well. Goes later on the brakes. Down the inside, Joker gives him the room. Is Joker going to try to run around the outside, though? He wow, is. Good racing, still these Still side pair. by side. Good. Yeah, that's... Jordan, I think, could have been more... Oh, for P2. Lennon down the inside. And through he goes. And Joker's held on to P5 as well. It's a great driving from Joker. I hang on to that one, but it's actually I switch back up the inside through the double left. But then he'll have the inside then for the hairpin. Yeah, let them make Homer's the now right next to them as well. Now it's been a mistake from Aaron somewhere, as he is now in 11th. Oh, and Jonesy as well. So have those two come together. Yeah, they've dropped behind Panda and Unsafe. 
course, the result of this race will decide the grid for the Super Formula race as well, so they're going to be on the back foot. Starting further back then, Blue Flag then leads us out of the final corner for the penultimate time. Oh, Joker's caught the curb there at the final corner, had a big old wiggle, that's going to give Slip switch back a big run down the start finish straight. It seems all right though, doesn't it? Mm, it's closer, but like I said, because the cars are all the same, you don't have a big advantage. I think he's got away with that there. So he has indeed, yeah. Very sideways, but Gavin did it nicely. Oh, switch back to oh, Ashwin, has gone! Dear. Off the kerb at the first corner on the final lap. After a really strong race, oh, Zach's going to be absolutely cursing himself. For the lady, Blue Flag oh, has yeah, got... Yeah, <laughs> Blue Flag's got Lennon all over and then on the final lap into the hip and we go down the middle of the road. Lennon, no way through. We'll be looking to get that run up the hill though. See if we can do what he did to uh, Biggles. <laughs> Picardi there with the sympathy. Yeah. Well, if you, I mean, if you look at the lap times, Jordan's just not been the consistent pole time that we've seen. You know, he's got a good run here. in the 16s. And he's got to run up the hill. Blue Flag's going to have to defend. Lennon pops to the outside, Blue Flag comes over, Lennon's going to try and send it all the way on the outside, but he's not going to have the grip, is he? Blue Flag just wide, Lennon's going to go for a switch back up, oh, it's a run, it's a drag race to the line. Lennon's got the Lennon's momentum, gonna it. who's going to get it? It's going to be Lennon, good, Lennon. Oh. Lennon by five thousandths of a second, wow. Wow. <laughs> what a finish, oh. what a move by Lennon. What a drive, what a move. Lennon that and victorious. shift there. The short shift gave him the grip. <laughs> Simon's not going to be very happy about that. Simon there, the great wall of Simon is breached by Lennon. Lennon is very happy with that one. A big woof from Simon, uh, from uh, Sean, sorry. And uh, victorious then, so Lennon is victorious there. What a move at the final corner. Wins the drag race to the line by 11 thousands per second, according to the official timing. But that was super, super close then. Jordan with a great P3, they're having led for a good part of that race there, but just slipped back at the end. Biggles gets P4, Joker, solid job in P5. Homer gets P6 then, Dusty Fossil P7, uh, with Panda in P8, after him being shunted off at the first quarter. Unsafe gets P9, switch back then, recovers to P t uh, P10, but has the fastest lap there, so the pace was there for him, but uh, that mistake on the final lap, he will be cursing himself. This is just ahead of Aaron and Jonesy, who are 11th and 12th. Nobby Norris is 13th and Royston 14th. Yeah, I think yeah. Jordan's just been his own critic in the chat there. He's not consistent enough. And um, he's one thing I do moan at him for, so I can say it. A very solid drive. It is indeed. Strong it is start indeed. The season but, uh, it's, a great, it's a great drive from Lennon, that is. He's just timed it perfectly. He's worked his way through the pack. Uh, besides a little punt on Jordan. Yeah, he was a really clean race for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, sure, we'll draw no. the final call of the neighbor took him on the next straight. But yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Keeper <laughs> <laughs> in there with a piece of arrow there. Fee, Aaron washed for real. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron washed. At least Mike didn't come 11th. So. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, there, Simon. They picked up the curb at the first, which gave him the chance there. Because they're saying that was a lot of fun. So I'm expecting ten more or well, nine more weeks of that. Jordan saying he saw that. Well, of course you saw that. You were behind them because you bottled it. <laughs> um, so here we go. Now here is the test. The Absolutely. one that I think is going to be the more difficult oh, by a landslide. Uh, I. I do actually think, I mean, five minutes practice, but I, I think that these are so uncontrollable at times, with especially with no um, uh, traction. I think they're really, really slidey. Uh, I mean, they've got an absolute ton of grip, although unsafe is <laughs> just proving it was a bit of a slide there. But yeah, these cars, a um, lot of grip, a lot of downforce there. You can really throw them into the corners now. What we do need to factor is that we have a very high tyre and fuel depletion rate this season. So the tyre wear is times 10 uh, and the fuel rate is times 7. So high tyre wear and that means it's medium and hard tyres only uh, this week. And only one set of mediums is available. So unlimited hards. Uh, one set of mediums can be used. There's a 30 lap race. So you're looking at probably a two stopper. Now the question is though, can they make those medium tyres last? 
and do a stint on the mediums, or are they going to go for three stints on the hards? That is going to be the dilemma facing everybody. And we'll have a look at the liveries then, which will uh, start to uh, help us pick up who is teamed with who. So we'll look at looking at Unsafe, he's part of Team uh, Slickcut. Or Silkcut, I'm not sure what the call is after scene. He, of course, is teaming up with Panda, who's in the second of the Silkcut cars. And we've got Homer, who is in this uh, beautiful uh, IndyCar livery. Oh, Scott, the Ridgeland Performance Lubricant Scott, he is teaming up with uh, Royston. Just looking at Zach's Levi Roots one. Switch back to the Hey, you this is my car. <laughs> so, yeah, it's Zach, very uh, good. Zach is teaming up with Gujo, as we already mentioned, in the Levi Roots cars. Don't miss those, nice and bright green. Uh, blue flag is teaming up this season in a uh, beautiful Penske Porsche livery and uh, he is teamed up with who is his team up this season Jonesy uh, I believe so yes it is so he's teamed up with Jonesy uh, then we've got Joker and what he mentioned is teaming up once again with Dusty Fossil in the Sim, De uh, Sim Demon cars then Nobby Norris then in the Ferrari livery he's teamed this season with Lennon Jordan there in the second of Levi uh Roots cars. And then we've got Aaron and Biggles, and who are teamed up in. Uh, Biggles is on the way to track, so we get to see his livery. Uh, and this very beautifully designed uh, Pac Man cars. So, a big fan of these. Is it a grid start? It is indeed. So, that's going to be another, another thing they need to factor in as well, yeah, trying to get these cars off the grid from a standing start. Yeah, yeah, they are very live at the back then, so traction will definitely be of the order. Yeah, I find that these going, the, the quicker you go, the more grip and downforce, obviously, that they have. But I think coming out of the slow release corners, that they are very, very twitchy. Oh, and you definitely be very same, careful or... with your throttle inputs. Um, even in third gear, in some corners, that you maybe want to be up, shifted to fourth quite early, just like turns one, uh, the hairpins as well, picking up the early, uh, early up shifts. Just to help you get the throttle applied. Yeah, I think that this is it's going to be a very, very, very difficult race. I think it's hard to predict a winner. I think for the first race, um, you know, these cars are so can be so unpredictable. Um, I would probably say you you put your money on no one really. You know, anyone can drop it out of a corner and lose twelve seconds. But then it's how many times can you keep it on the track? Or oh, keep it off the track, sorry. No, on the track, keep it on the track. Yeah, that's right, isn't keep it? Keep on the track, ideally. There you go, ideally. You don't want well, it on the gravel, really, do you? Obby's, Obby's coming in there with uh, the wrecking ball time. So he's uh, confident about his uh, chances tonight. Yeah. yeah, it's all right. Don't worry about it, Nobby. I, I tend to stay on everything but the tarmac in these cars. So I, I, we've obviously, I've got team Pac-Man with uh, myself and... Uh, Aaron and Biggles and Sean and Sean's done a wonderful job on these. Yes, indeed. So of course, you're, we are you're all teamed a different up with colour the... of Pac-Man. Who are you teamed up with the season juicy one? There is the lovely Jaeger Monster himself. Oh, of course. Who is he was in the chat, my boyfriend Sean. I love you, Sean. So that's my other that's... boyfriends are Graham. Of course. So yes. Yeah, Graham awesome. smooth talks me and Sean ties me up. So I... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so let's look at the team. So who's in GT1 there? So we've got Biggles, we've got Aaron, and then James and Sean. And our team Pac-Man, Lennon in the Ferrari with Nobby Norris. Of course, they've got Tom and Ross in GT1. Uh, Panda, who is their new teammate with Unsafe. He's teamed up this season with the Dark Knight and Wolfie. They are in GT1 this season. The reigning GT2 champ. Uh, Switchback and Jordan are teamed up with myself and with Captain Chubbs. Uh, Dusty Fossil. And Joker, they're teamed up with Witchell and Pine this season. Uh, Pine saying these cars are, uh, which is saying these cars are a 10 out of 10. So expecting big things then from the former GT1 champ. He's going to be back for claiming his crown this season. Uh, and I've been I do think touched on. I d uh, sorry, just, just interrupting you there, Lee. I was just one of the things that's really crossed my mind here. Overtaking is going to be so so difficult, isn't it? And of course, these have the nitrous in the race, I believe. We do indeed, yes. Um, so Homer is teamed up with Royston. They've got Pagani and Graham as teammates this season. And then Aaron, Aaron, Simon 
and Jonesy are teamed up with, I believe, Long Dom. I believe. And that's everybody. But yes, the nitrous, of course, the overtake button is applied then for the races, and so they have. I don't know, know what the, the actual is it 30 seconds? Uh, yes, I believe 30 it seconds is. of time. So 30 seconds of overtake boost they could use at any time they so wish uh, by pushing a button. That will give them some extra That's moolah right. down the straights to try and get some moves done. No DRS on these cars. Um, so yeah, they're done by overtake. And of course, they don't. people who don't know, these cars are raced in Japan, uh, Japan only. And they've got Honda and Toyota. We're using just the Honda one just to make sure there's no differences between the cars. But uh, yeah, they are kind of on a par with F2, maybe a little bit ahead of F2 cars. Uh, I think they're an in-between bit, aren't they? I think these have got more downforce than the F2s. I believe so, yes. Um, it's a very nice nip of Jordan's there, cutting some grass, and uh, Lennon's just gone around as he gets on the power. Now, this is going to be so, something, I think. Race is about to begin. Standing start with the grid decided as per the result from race one. So Lennon on pole, blue flag alongside it, Jordan and Biggles, Joker and Homer, Dusty Fossil and Panda, unsafe switch back. Aaron Jonesy, Nobby and Royston. As much as you want, Lennon. But it doesn't, re it doesn't replenish. Five red lights. And away we go. Oh, poor start in the background from, I think it's Jonesy. He's had a tardy start there. He's gone all the way to the back. Got to take his foot off the uh, handbrake. Jordan's had a good start there. Lucky down the inside, but Lennon will lead us into turn one. So everybody just tiptoeing around on the hard tyres. Yeah, Jordan's managed to get past Blue Flag there, though. Yes, indeed. On the, the end, big sit of the corner. Jinking around as well. A little bit of lag there. Just being strong. Blue flag's coming back. Oh, Jordan with a big old twitch. And Blue flag's back ahead. Blue flag has used a little bit of his notch already, as has Lennon. Wouldn't have used that off the line. They are the only ones on the grid to have used it. Get in there, Lewis. I mean, uh, get in there, Alexis McAllister. Even better. I forgot to say, 2 1. 2 1. You and you Reds. Right, the Lennon leads then by 1.5 seconds already then. Jordan attacking Blue Flag in the outside into the hairpin. <laughs> and down the big goals then, defending from Joker. Then unsafe up to P6 and he's had a good start. He's ahead of Homer. No, he's had good pace in these cars in pre-season, so it'll be interesting how he gets on then. Dusty Fossil defending from Switchback, who's had a good start. Panda in 10th, then Jones in 11th. Royston in 12th. What's happened to Aaron? He's down to 13th and Nobby Norris is at the back already. He might have been off there, but Aaron's had a drama somewhere. But up front, then it's a Ferrari sandwich. And Lennon pulling clear at the front. I think Witchell has touched it as well. Dirty air is going to play a big part in these cars. They really are sensitive to dirty air, so it's going to be difficult to follow closely through the high-speed corners. And Jordan, there you can see the overtake there. Once that flash is red, that means they are using some of their overtake then. So starting lap two. Tire situation then. I believe everybody's going to be on the hard tyres. No, in fact, Dusty Fossil's on the mediums. So he started on the medium tyre. And everybody else appears to be on the hards. They are. So everybody else is on the hard tyre. Just Dusty Fossil then. So he could be one to watch early doors. Yeah. The thing is with this strategy now is you start with nine laps of fuel, but you need ten to do the optimal pitch strategy. So there needs yes. to be a bit of fuel saving going on, right? The medium tyres last you eight laps, potentially. Nine. Uh -huh. I would say. You look after them. You have to look after them. So it's kind of counterintuitive because you want obviously to use them to their benefit um, and push because you've got more grip. But you do need to look after them a little bit. So it's you do. Yeah, you can get away with doing eight laps and maybe um, an extra lap longer on both sets of me of hard tyres, which is what I think I believe I will be doing. Um, so far, no one has spun it though. So yeah, good job so far then. But yeah, I say it's difficult to follow around this circuit it's very technical so not many close battles at the minute everybody's kind of in a bit of a train but nobody's immediate on the other panda is close to homer always up the inside now homer those switches uh cuts across the nose things p8 james go well then aaron has re has caught back up to the field joker's had a moment somewhere he's down to third oh aaron's on the grass coming to the final corner that's going to leave him vulnerable. Oh, then Joker has a big old twitch around the final corner there. These cars are very twitchy, as James touched on earlier. Dirty air yeah, there. Royston yeah. now on the attack of Jonesy. So down the inside exits. he goes. And three goes. Oh, then clutches the grass in the braking zone. Is he 
Yeah, they're just driving struggling to get the car stopped into turn one. On these hard tyres, they should be switched on nine out by now though. Uh, uh, yeah, this uh, for a man who is uh, a history of F1 racing, Lennon is in his element in this car. Clear out well, as well. I will say is watch out for uh, Jordan's tyre wear. I, he, <laughs> he, I don't understand what he does. He, he just runs through tyres. He seems to be doing all right now, but he's already got a lot more than the others. I don't think it's that much more. In comparison, I think. But we'll, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll yeah, see as it goes on. more the blue flag. But... Uh, that's a lot more in my eyes. It's half a laugh, man. <laughs> uh, what was that to say? I had a train of thought. I forgot what it was already. Derek said it perfectly. Now we all realise how much we love the Astons. <laughs> yes. Um... Oh, Royston's round. He's hit Jonesy. Aaron's hit Jonesy as well. That was probably That's deliberate. A... Yeah, probably. Aaron has got round him, and now he's just got Jonesy in front of him, who seems to have the connection of a farmyard animal on his internet. Indeed. Dial-up internet doing him well. I'm safe for Lisa to drop back as well. He was at P5, he's now down to P9, so a few drivers having some moments here. As uh, Aaron and Jonesy start to battle again. <laughs> Dane wants to know how big of a gap does Lennon need before he starts posting in the stream chat again. Uh, well, let's ask him, Lennon, uh, what gap do you need before you start posting in the, in the stream chat again? Go live. Oh, really Darren's knows. given Jonesy a punt there. I think Jonesy's lag is causing people around him a little bit of issue at the minute. Aaron there just slammed him to the back of him. Well, the current gap is 3.4 seconds, so let's see if that's just to entice him into the chat. Come on, Lennon, you know you want to. Uh, meanwhile, blue flag is coming under some pressure again from Jordan. Tyreware is only fractionally worse than Jordan's doing okay at the minute. Oh, caught that curb there though. Had a bit of a slide. I seem to do that every lap, don't worry. Yeah, these cars are very sensitive to the curbs. You'd think they'd be, uh, be able to ride them, but they really do not like these raised curbs. Point of order indeed, Derek 12. 22 in the chat, 22 in the stream, only 12 likes on the stream. Where are you? Push that button. We're watching, Good. boys. Get liking. Derek's watching. Yeah, he's always watching my hero. So then on to lap five we go. And Lennon has the fastest lap currently. There we go. Three seconds is the gap. There we go. That, there, there's your answer to your question, Dave. Three seconds. He's just a fossil then. Making some good progress then. Now, Dusty Foster's tyre wear, not too bad. Five laps in. Those medium tyres looking very good. Everyone's saying Jonesy's broad bike can't compete with the speed. No, it's definitely not that. If you I mean, look, it must be really um, bad internet then, Jesus. If you look at um, Carl's and Jordan's tyre wear, they are similar. Yes, yes they are. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Though Simon's is much worse than Jordan's. No, they're both pushing, pushing each other, aren't they? Ooh, Jordan a little bit wide on the exit of the, uh, the hairpin there. Firing down the hill there, using a bit of his overtake, so he's already used a quarter of his overtake. Oh, he's on the grass. He's on the grass. He's wide. He's round. No, oh, big show for Jordan there. He's going really strongly, but around he goes. And out of P3. So then Lennon now has a 3.3 second lead of a blue flag, who's now three seconds clear of Biggles. Aaron's making his way back up again. He's now up to eight. He's clear Jonesy, which will be a key for his race, I think. And he's now latched himself onto the back of unsafe release. Yeah, Joker and Novi, I think, are really struggling. Oh, Royston up the inside of Switchback, and Switchback's had a bit of a drama, so he's dropped back as well. And so both of the, uh, the Levi Roots cars struggling at this stage. Then Jordan's had a a spin and Zach has dropped a couple of places so they're down in 11th and 12th and yeah, Nobby has caught Joker so I think Joker's having a bit of a drama there oh big old slide again which it won't look mint mate when I'm spinning from four corners behind you Nobby's going for the out, overtake mate. on Joker down the start finish straight he goes using that overtake to good effect and up to 13th he goes so it's no longer yeah. a, Ferrari, a big Ferrari sandwich Oh, there's three seconds between first and second, second and third, but I must say Biggles is doing really well. He's got 1.2 behind him, 
to Carl, who is on the Hasta tyre, so if you can keep him behind, he'll be happy. Yeah, uh, he's going so. really well tonight, really well. Aaron's up, his way back up to eighth. Um, hasn't mm. had much time to do some practice as well. So, it's impressive from him. It's because he's been played too much Far Cry 6 as well. Yeah, probably. So then, we'll, uh, go bored with the air there, and go for the driver's eye view. This tricky final sector, this double right hand here, you've got to try and stay tight, pick up the throttle early. There's a bit of a crest here as well, which unsells the car there, you can see the back of the car sliding around. I think it was under the bridge. Oh, big slide there. Wide or narrow through this corner, Lee? Um, wide in, try and stay narrow. Fire it out, I think. Yeah, it's best to raise, isn't it? And this final corner is it's quite tricky. The final two corners, sorry. I mean, the first one, he's caught a few of my friends out in practice. You know, I think if you early up shift, you can get on the power early. By the end of the curve, you want to be at probably roughly about 110 mile an hour. If only unsafe was here to do it in kilometres, I wish I knew. <laughs> Biggles is closing the gap to Simon. Oh, unsafe is wide at the hairpin. I don't bother with Aaron then. There's, uh, there's a bit of a slide on the exit, but yeah, unsafe is wide at the hairpin there. And, and Aaron closing a bit now, he's going to be right in the dirty air. You can see how much of an effect it had there, because he just could not get that car turned into the left hander there, and unsafe pulls a couple of tenths. So this is the problem with these cars, especially on a track like this, where it's very technical. And uh, a lot of people say it's going to be quite difficult to race each other because uh, these cars are so quick, so responsive. It's, uh, it's all going to be about mistakes, I think, more than anything, and strategy. We shall see yeah, that again, Aaron. There, you can see him how much that dirty air affects the car through this, tri this tricky, twisty section. I would say it's a little bit wide, but Aaron's followed him deep. Oh, there's a big slide. He's trying to get the power down early. It is a constant battle with these cars. It is indeed 30 laps from hell. Three laps of hell. Well, Lennon up front, still untroubled. Doing a good job on his tyres, doing a good job on his fuel as well. Four seconds is now the lead. Mm, what a world save. Flag. Lost about it's half Panda. a second to Biggles. Panda hasn't used any of his overtake. Yeah, so Panda's uh, barely used saving it. that. Lennon has used a foot, uh, about a quarter now. Yeah, Dusty Fossil's tyre weight is superb on those medium tyres. doing a really good job. I think smoothness here. Now, maybe his lap times aren't as good as uh, maybe they could be so I think people have been doing sort of 26s 27s in GT1 of those mediums but they are going to eat through them in about 8 laps so he's definitely got I mean he could go further I think the fuel might run out before his tyres run out and he is down close on big just over, over a quarter of a tank though we are 8 laps gone that's quite he? impressive I think what we have to remember is as well with the slipstream um, you can save fuel as well so I wonder if He's probably a bit far out to try and do a one stop, isn't he? He's not going to save that much if he's, he's not, you've got enough fuel, but he'll have a, definitely have a short stop. So look at the guys ahead of him. So Lennon, Lennon's on about a quarter of a, well, about a third of a tank still. So again, a lot of people doing well on fuel here. So Lennon's pace and in the 28s is one, but running sort of low to mid 29s, which is solid pace. That 28 9 is the fastest lap, of course, everybody on the hard tyres, so. Blue flag's fastest lap is a 29.3, so four tenths slower. Biggles now coming under more pressure than Dusty Foster's into slipstream range. Now I'll be starting to get the benefit of that dirty air, or rather the, uh, the negative effect of that dirty air. Oh, Cody Gakpo, you're a beautiful man. Mm, but yeah, I've got Van Dijk in the team, it's not what I want to hear. So he's just quietly going about his business as well. Yeah, he's doing well. Uh, Panda. Yeah, Panda's just crept. Now, of course, Panda is, uh, was a very quick boy in the F1. These cars should again be right up his street. Long, long history of F1 racing in F2L. So, uh, yeah. He's going well. He's just quietly made his way up the order. On safe, still holding Aaron at arm's length there. So the Silk Cup guy is winning sixth and seventh. Aaron then behind him in eighth, and Jonesy in ninth. And we've got Jordan in 10th, Royston in 11th. Oh, that's a tire smoke there. He's really pushing that front right through that long left hander. Switch back behind him in 12th. Switch back up the inside there. Uh, Royston's a bit wide at the hairpin. And that's got to run down the hill using a bit of overtake. And we're going to see a move here. 
He's on the outside line, but no, Royston cuts across there. And switch back off to drop in then, and then gets the dirty air through the next corner. I've um, just gone on board with Lennon for a lap, and he's very, very smooth on the exits. I mean, that's where he's gaining a lot of the time. A lot of short shifting. Oh, he's he's deep at turn one, though. Deep, deep at turn one. Yeah, I think you can it. make those mistakes in these cars. I think, but the perfect lap, every lap, is virtually impossible. Which all feel free to prove us wrong. Pickles is closing on blue flag. That gap's down to 1.4 seconds now. Dusty Fossil's there as well, as is Homer, as is Panda. So, while the lead battle is maybe not up for uh, discussion at the moment, the battle for P2 and P3 very much is. Now, Aaron is in the pit centre, so the first pit stops are taking place now, and the first one to go is Aaron. He was the worst on fuel, however. So, has that played a part? Perhaps so then. So, he's going to fill the tank, and is he coming back out on the hards? He is. He is on his merry way, then the Biggles continues to close that gap to blue flag. He's down to half a second. So as the fuel's coming off then. And Biggles is a little bit better on fuel than blue flag. He's better on tyres as well. Blue flag's front tyres are looking a little bit worse for wet. And Dusty Fossil's also now very much buying into this. And his tyres are far, far, a little bit worse. But you'd expect them being the, uh, the softer compound. But he's doing a really good job of looking after them. <laughs> Just... Derek asking me if I uh, can see him. <laughs> nope. He's on about turbo lag. Turbo lag. Could be turbo lag. Lennon is in the pits. The race leader pits. <coughs> Carl's done a fantastic job taking those mediums 10 laps. Yeah, indeed. 3-1, Lennon. 3-1. Uh, McAllister and Gakpo have scored. Who got it on first? Uh, the Darwin Nunes. It was a Conor Bradley goal. So technically, Liverpool scored all four goals, didn't it? Yes. Biggles has gained three seconds on Simon and is now seven tenths behind him. Yeah, both these guys then so on this the limit of fuel. Then. So they've decided to extend the lap, which probably put them in a good window for the medium tyre later on. I'm interested that Lennon went and went as when he did. I thought he might try and push one more lap because he was good on field. Blue flag is struggling with his front tyres at the minute, and that's what's bringing Biggles into him. Yeah, Biggles' tyres are really, really as well. not that bad. And Panda. Are they? Yeah, Homer and Panda as well. Biggles has done really well on those tyres. Wow. Yeah, definitely see it. Be a bit better way. Even Homer. Well, Homer's again doing a really good job on his tyres. Panda's on bad. And safes are alright as well. Yeah, the fuel is now the problem then, so expecting these front four, five drivers who have not yet pitted to be in this time around. Jordan's extended as well. This front left is looking very second hand though. Of course this is a clockwise circuit. Joking the pits with the second penalty. Here yeah, comes the drivers now. The pit entrance here is tricky. They're all going to get in okay, I think they have. Probably one thing we didn't mention, the pit entrance here is very, very difficult. It's a bit of a chicane to go into, so you kind of want to attack it, but... Don Safe has really sent it there into the barrier. Uh, he's the best on fuel then of the front five. Six litres left. He is. So the ones that have pitted so far, Nobby, Jonesy, Aaron, Ooh, uh, Jordan. Carl and <laughs> Lennon. <laughs> I think Jordan forgot the pit entrance was and very, very nearly missed it. And then sent it quite hard. He managed to make it in without catching the inside wall, thankfully. Jordan also with no fuel. Yes, he has uh, run that tank dry. So Lennon has re uh, reassumed the lead and Homer has come out in P2. Now he's on the mediums, now he's short fuel, so I think he's going to do eight laps. Yeah. For a shorter stint then, so he's short fuel to get himself track position. Dusty Fossil has jumped blue flag in the pits. Again, he's also marginally under fueled. Biggles just out behind him again, so what tires everybody on now then? So Homer's on the mediums, Lennon's on the hards again. But he's comfortable at the minute. Fossil now on the hards, of course, he's used his mediums. Blue flag's on hards again, Biggles is on hards. Panda's on hards. Aaron's on the hard tyre. And Safe's on the hard tyre. Jones is on the hard tyre. Uh, Royston's on the mediums. Jordan's on the mediums. Switchback's on the hards. Nobby Norris is on the hard tyre. And Joker's out on the mediums. Uh, interestingly, which I think we've still got to play, Joker, uh, Jonesy and... Panda have not used their overtake at all yet. Yeah, Dusty Fossil's still got 
Well, more than three quarters of his, well. uh, his left hit, so he's got what then? So Lennon's about down to half, but that's fine. He's just using it to control his gap. But uh, Homer is now putting the uh, the magnets on. That gap is coming down. Of course, he is on medium tire. Lennon there with the fastest lap of the race at 28 1. He's just got eight, second, uh, eight tenths of a second quicker than his previous best. Yeah. About Homer behind Weirdly, him. has short fuel on this hard stint as well. Yes, well, maybe I mean, he saved quite a lot. He came in with 14 litres, didn't he? So, hmm. so to see what he does. He's, he's clearly going to try and make that back up on track. Yeah, Homer's got himself a big gap there with Dusty Fossil. Now, the refuel yeah, rate has changed this season as well. Um, yeah. Graham, Graham pointed out that it's, it was a great move there from Homer, actually, short fuel. He's getting himself back in clean air with the mediums on. Yeah, it should help his tyre wear a little bit as well, wouldn't it? Because he's obviously not got as much weight in the car, so I should look after the tyres a little bit now. He was quite good on his tyres, so I say he was he definitely one to watch in the Super Formulas this season. And he's half a second purple, so yeah, Homer is getting the magnets on him. The lead is down to 5.4, so he is charging at Lennon. But uh, he's got to get there first. And then, of course, he'll have a little bit longer at the final stop as well, depending on what Lennon does with his fuel. Yeah, that gap is coming down rapidly now. Uh, Homer is motoring on. I expect to see a new fastest lap here. It'll be the first one into the 27s. Yeah, using the Lennon doing a 28-1 well. on the hards is very quick. Oh, a bit yeah, of a slide he did there, use his overtake button there. Indeed. Yeah, the gap is now down to under four seconds. Homer is absolutely flying. Then with the 29-2 on that lap. Homer to 26-2. So, yeah. Three seconds he took out of him on the lap. Oh, Biggles and Blue Flag side by side. Blue Flag defending the inside, Biggles in the slipstream. Blue Flag hangs on. Go on out, Biggles. Of course, the delivery of the Sporting there was the one that ran on one of the Pence Porsches of Le Mans last year. It was kind of a uh, an ode to all the Porsche cars that won at Le Mans there. So if you can uh, spot which is which, Congratulations. Martini. That's a bit of Martini in there, yes. We've got the pink pig as well as the pink stripe. The, uh, the dark blue is the Rothmans one, of course. Is it the orange the egg monster? Uh, I believe so, yes. Look at me go. Right. There you go, so blue flag then. There's now seen off Biggles and Panda is there as well. So Panda's looking to buy into this. So yeah, though, again there, you can just see. As you get into the dirt, yeah, the car ahead, you are struggling in some of these corners. Oh, Panda with a big slide there, caught that curb. Gathers it nicely, though. Excellent car control there. And he's now all over the back of Biggles. And might he fancy a move into turn one, if he's close enough. And he's behind them. Panda's on the overtake button but it's difficult for him to follow through the final corner. Big Horse has just managed to pull away again. He's saving the turn one. Oh, Panda there coming in really hot on the brakes there, but gets it stopped and turned. And he'd be in a look. <laughs> just see what's on the back of his rear wing. Um, okay. This is oh, <laughs> a terrible <laughs> sign. <laughs> Where's unsafe? Let's just say the same thing. Yes, it does. I'm going to say that's probably uh, a Luke thing. So congratulations, Baldwin. That is uh, super. Big fan of that. There is yellow flags. And Joker has spun again. Oh dear, Joker is having a bit of a torrid time then. Not been Norris, meanwhile, it's caught Jonesy. Yeah, but Home has also caught Lennon. Yeah, he was there. So, Lennon's lead is about to be eradicated. He puts a bit of pressure on Lennon now because he needs to do this on the mediums as well. well he doesn't need to necessarily. He could do hards again. Homer, of course, will obviously be back on hards in the last in. So, Lennon can use the mediums at the end if he so wishes. But can he get the tyres to last? Well, he pitted on lap 10, didn't he? So, so whether or not he... Uh, 
think he can get 10 so laps out of the mediums. How... He, did, he did a good job at his hard tyres, to be fair, looking after them. So. Yeah, he's done really well here. So is he planning maybe to look after them last stint, look after them this stint and push really hard on the mediums, maybe? Well, and of course, doing a short stint means he can push these tyres a little bit harder. He's used that to great effect then to just eradicate that seven second gap in, what, two and a half laps. And now Lennon is under all kinds of pressure. Again, hoping to get a run down the hill here. Lennon's on the inside. He's going to have a narrow line there, but comes across, takes the line. And he's got the dirty air now. He's going to have to follow him through the sector, try and force a mistake, though. It's a lovely snap back catch, that, from yeah, home. He is all over there, he's got board. Dirt uh, yeah, gets rid of that traction bonus really that the medium tyres can give you. And a good launch off the corner though. And it's closing, and it's closing. I don't think he's going to be close enough at the braking zone though. Yeah, it does just depend, doesn't it, on at what point do these mediums start driving in the same Oh, Lennon's gone! Oh, Lennon's off! It. Lennon on the kerb, on the exit of turn one, spits himself off into the barrier. Now, he's still got a big lead behind him, so he's recovered in P2, he's still got, what, we look at 10 seconds. But he is now four seconds in arrears, so Lennon, a mistake there from the, uh, the former race leader, our race one winner. Yeah, and Aaron is the first to nearly run out of his overtake as well. He's uh, absolutely he's... munching that overtake, hasn't he? Yeah, he's thirstier than a single mom in pop world there for his overtake. <laughs> they are thirsty. Yeah, very thirsty. Ash Jordan, <laughs> the mom hunter. Fever with the shade. Classic Lenob. And the chat has stopped working for me. How fantastic. Classic Lennon. Indeed it is. I think you're right. First off, if you didn't need to correct it, it was fine. Lenob was right. <laughs> I do think Joker has given up the go. Yeah, I think he's just retiring the car in the pits. <laughs> like it, one minute, one minute thirty-two behind. It's been lapped. I think he can keep the car under control. Bless him. He's, he gave it a really good go. He did really well in the Porsche. So we can hold his head up high. Nobby and Jonesy fighting it out at the back. Zach and Jordan both in no man's land. Jordan obviously going really well at the start. He's gone wide. Oh, now I've caught on stream as well. I had to say something, didn't I? Yes, yes, you did. Right, and so the rest of the pack is just kind of spread out now. So now it's kind of back on strategy and what the strategies are going to play out now. Homer with a massive lead. Now, obviously, he's going to have to pit a little bit earlier, go a bit longer on the final stint, potentially. But uh, he has now put himself in a prime position because he's 7.4 seconds ahead of Lennon, pulling away as well. Yeah, looking after those medium tyres, that extra lap he's done, so the 11, 11, 8 looks to be the way to go. Seven point seven seconds and is his lead then. This is the gap that he closed down since the pit lane, since his pit stop then, so in seven laps. He's turned a seven second deficit into a seven second lead. 14, 15 seconds there for a moment. It's not bad. He's done well, isn't it? That six that twenty six twos are great though. Really, really good lap. Is, yeah, very, very quick lap there from Homer. He is absolutely flying. You, you know, I'm yet to practice these with the cars. Yeah, I'm yet to practice with the overtake. Um, but you know, these these 25 times aren't as far away as what we thought we originally thought we, uh, would be the case, I suppose. And so, we're doing nice. 26.2s. So what are we going to expect from GT1? Yep, Tomorrow. here comes Witchell with a 1 minute 15.3. <laughs> Lennon there again, struggling at turn one there. Is that just in his head a little bit, I wonder now? Yeah, at least now 10 friend. seconds, that's a big gap to pull back then. Now, if he is going to be able to use the medium tyres in the final stint, though, his tyre wear's good, he's still got the fuel as well, so he can extend, so he might be able to get those medium tyres on, but uh, we shall see, that's a big ask. Garni's told me not to use overtake on the corner. I found that out the hard way when practising a race with um, Owen. Not Owen. Yeah, yeah, Owen. 
at Monza. We did a little Sunday race, and I tried to use overtake through Ascari and Bindit. Okay. Yeah, Lennon's very consistent with his pace. I think really it's what got him the uh, so many wins last season. Won the title, mm. didn't he? Won the title? No, uh, Dark Knight won the title, didn't he? Oh, he did, didn't he? Lennon gave it a good game. How can I forget? He chased hard. How can I forget? How could you forget? How could I forget? Could you forget? I don't know. Oh, so 11 laps on the hearts now for Homer. This is his final stop. Lennon carries on. That short fuel for Homer really did help him out there. Yep, massive help for him there. Now he's just doing a little bit of fuel saving in this final stint, just to make sure he gets to the flag, but the 11 laps should be fairly easy to get. Jordan's mediums are... Um, non-existence i believe he will be in this lap doing 11 on the hard good luck too he could yeah, only manage the, 10 before just the tire is done oh he's going to do another lap though you brave soul fuel, but yeah that's uh, that tire is going to be interesting in the latter half of the lap uh he'll gain some time back though on a fuel uh I say that zach is also very very good on his fuel since everyone has got better this second race this second half of the race haven't they yeah, the Formula sure. Car is fairly easy to save the fuel, to be honest. Um, for a good, get the extra lap at least. Royston's in as well. He's coming out on the hard skates. Panda has obviously has got past Biggles somewhere. A bit of a gap. He's now all over Simon. So he still hasn't got past Carl there in second. Carl's driven fantastically, can I just say. He's first stop of the mediums. It's a bit of a risk, but it's paid off really well for him here. Lennon in the pits. A litres of fuel. See where he comes out. Homer is well. coming up. To, Homer's coming into the last corner now. So the yeah, flag well, and obviously Panda have carried on. Okay, do another lap. Blue flag a little bit better on fuel than Panda. Panda slightly better on tyres, but yeah, Panda and Blue flag then are circulating together. They have been for most of the stint. Biggles and unsafe stay out as well. So Homer gone through. Lennon's still refueling. And and short fuel now to two. So again, not quite filling the tank. Jordan's making his way into the pits. I think he's hit the pit wall. He's, he has hit the pit wall. Oh dear. Well played, Jordan. I'm proud of you. <laughs> so, as well, uh, Carl has left the pits. Eight point. Sorry, six, seven, it's going down. About six and a half seconds ahead of Aaron. So Aaron's six and a half seconds is to provisional third. So not too much of a gap, but he has no overtake left for his car last three quarters. So, yeah, the gap, we need to look at those Homer and Lennon. So Homer is fifth currently, and he is about nine seconds ahead of Lennon. So Lennon can go a second a lot quicker than him. We'll have a grandstand finish. Got a little bit of traffic in the form of switchback, but switchback will probably be in shortly. Although it looks like he's extending the stint, so he might be going for the mediums. So he'll probably get out of Lennon's way. Yes, now it becomes interesting then. Blue flag going round again. So blue flag and panda going round one more time. They want those eight laps, don't they? Well, they want those eight laps, yeah. They're going for an eight laps stint at the end. Biggles in the background. They just dropped away a little bit from this battle in this stint. So if he's going around again, Homer is then catching him. And he needs to clear this traffic quickly. Zach's gone round right. again as well, which means Lennon's going to have to overtake him on track. Zach on Simon cards, has... Lennon on fresh mediums. Simon's just set a personal best through sector one as well. Homer on the back of unsafe. But no way through. So now he's losing time. Lennon's on the back of switchback but again. He's coming, catching him at the wrong point. He's going to this technical twisty section where it's going to be very difficult to make a move. Biggles has almost used all his overtake, going to FIBA. He has indeed. Panda's now starting to use his, and he's down to about a third. Blue flag's down to a quarter. Lennon's gone down the inside of the sweeping left-hander and has taken Zach. 
That's what we've done. Well, Homer is still behind unsafe. That gap is now starting to come down. So, can Lennon res revive his chances of winning this race? It's definitely hurting Homer being behind unsafe there. Dirty air through this sector is really tough. Gaps down to 7.7. And we hope hoping that Unsafe peels off this time. Then Blue Flag in the pits. Panda in the pits. Biggles in the pits. Unsafe should peel off as well. He's almost out of fuel. In he goes. And Homer is released then, but the damage has been done. Lennon's gap now is just 7.1. Can he see him in the distance? Oh, distance 6.7 is the gap now. For going off Homer's time, sitting the 26. Homer's lapping in the 1 minute 30s in that last lap. Yeah, that's uh, definitely hurt him. Lost a couple of seconds there. So Blue Flag out on the medium tyre. Panda on the medium tyre. Dusty Foster coming through on the hards. Now those two He's have lost jumped two him. places. Yeah, they've got back ahead of him then. So. And they're on the mediums now, both these boys. So they will probably pull away. So Aaron has also managed to gain three seconds on. Yeah, um, I'm no on Carl, so has mm. Carl maybe made a mistake somewhere? I'm having a look at his lap times. He has mm. only just pitted, hasn't he? Yeah, he's just got help, so. Actually, no, so. I think it was just pit stop. Aaron has jumped his teammate, but Biggles is out on medium tyres. Aaron's on the hard, so Biggles, you imagine. Well, but Aaron probably should just wave him through here. In fact, he's pulled over, so Biggles will go through. Biggles can now try and chase down Dusty Fossil and save release is behind Aaron then, so haven't been ahead of him for the first couple of stints. But he's on the medium tyre as well, so he will very quickly jump in that guy down, switch back and Royston still battling hard. Yeah, nice haul of points medium, here it? actually. Yeah, yeah, been a nice haul of points for the Pac-Man boys, 6th and 7th, they'll be happy with that after the start. Homer's lead down to 5.2 seconds then, Lennon is yeah. charging. Switch back has jumped Royston as well. So we've got Jordan battle lead, Jones, the lead developing. Joker. Lennon closing. Blue flag and Panda still circulating together. Oh, Homer's made a slight mistake into the S's. Yeah, that's cost him another second or so. They're going to have dirty tyres as well. Lennon's just taking bags of time out of him here. So the tyre differential is absolutely massive. So Lennon's spin might not end up costing him after all. Oh, Homer's deep at the hairpin. He's got dirty tyres. He's struggling at this point. Let's get them cleaned up. Get back into a rhythm. They've got similar amounts of overtake. So Homer's, yeah, so Homer's got to hope that the dirty air really starts to hurt Lennon once he gets close enough. Let's see if he can hold him. Big Horse is catching Dusty Fossil hand over fist as well. Been released by Aaron. Aaron having a slide then's got unsafe back on his tail. Yeah, the Simon Panda of a battle. I think Aaron, uh, sorry, Biggles, Aaron, yeah, potentially, and Carl will be having a battle towards the end of this race as well. 1.1 the gap out front. Lee, yep. it's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen, happen, Lee. It's going to happen early. So Lennon's got himself within yeah. striking range, but can he find? An opportunity because now he's going to be getting that dirty air through the twisty sections. That's where it's going to hurt him. So he won't be able to get close. He's caught him prematurely, just no. like me. Oh, he's done well there, like though, Keith. Panda also knows the tail. Six tenths between these two. Both just in their own personal best. 28.5 from Blue Flag and 28.2 from Panda. Fossil's got Biggles all over him. Unsafe just going through on Aaron. Meanwhile, into turn three. So Unsafe retakes P7. He's now going to be chasing down Biggles, who's all over the back of Dusty Fossil. All panels on the grass, meanwhile. Oh, he does that every lap, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I keep going to comment on it, he just does it every lap now. Well, Lennon, you can see the dirty air starting to affect him there through that sector. This is where Homer needs to build a bit of a gap then, because the first sort of couple of corners where it's just straight, 
and not much in the way of corners where Lennon will be able to close in but through the twisty sections if Emma can keep a gap the dirty air should keep en uh, Lennon at arm's length but uh, Lennon a long way to go five laps if to I'm go now, I'm saving that overtake for defence I am yep they've got well, Homer's only got what, maybe about an, an eighth of his overtake yeah. left Lennon's just got less than a quarter using it again we're just saying Carl's won a very good race. He has indeed. Different strategy to everybody else. Went on the mediums early. He was up to make some progress, but now he's under attack from Biggles, who's on those softer tyres, mediums. And here he comes to the inside. Just showing in the mirrors. Nothing doing, though. Heather than Panda has dropped back from Blue Flag, so Blue Flag is currently safe in P3. And safe also trying to close down. And dropped Aaron. Jonesy has got ahead of Nobby Norris finally in that battle for P12. Check in with the lead duo again. It's 1.2 seconds, so now Homer has just been able to start holding Lennon. And so, yeah, this part of the lap there is really going to be hurting Lennon, so he can't get close enough. You can see the, the box around the, the front left tyre glowing there through that sector, which means he's really stressing that tyre out. Now it's a very much a cat and mouse game between Homer, who is leading, and Lennon, who is pursuing. Homer just needs to use the dirty air. Focus on getting a good launch into turn out of the final corner into turn one, and then out of turn one down towards turn three. Yeah, and both for the rest of, of the lap, there, right? it's going to be difficult for Lennon to get closer to make a move with the dirty air. Possibility, yeah. to find a way past Dusty Fossil and unsafe is closing however he might have an opportunity now he's had a good run at the final corner into the slipstream he goes he's got no overtake left though Dusty Fossil's using his in defence but on the brakes he's not going to have anything is he oh he does Dusty Fossil sweeps across the nose stays in, the in P5 good driving there from Dusty Fossil using his overtake to defend I think Aaron has gone off somewhere. Zach's managed to catch three seconds off. No, he's just on a faster tyre. Zach is going down the inside of Aaron into uh, the windy bit of sector two. Now, these two have come together with that corner before, many seasons ago. Round the outside goes. Switch back. Oh, and Aaron spins. I mean, was that on the curb? Contact. Was there a bit, a bit of contact? There was slight contact, but I do think it might have been curb there. Who it. knows? It's carried on. So. Stewards! <laughs> <laughs> Stewards rule. Aaron sucks. Yep, absolutely. Lack of talent. There we go. Uh, lack of comedic value from yourself, Lee. Love that. Um, <laughs> I am. I'm completely unbiased in this situation. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Um, well, starting up 28, and Homer still leads. Yeah, there's going to be two battles. I think there's going to be Homer Lennon. I think there's going to be Biggles and Dusty as well. I think will be the and position safe. changes. And save is closing and on these two. Is in. I didn't even realise that. Hello, we go save. again then. Right, Dusty Fossil, what have we got this time? On the overtake immediately. Biggles has got none left, but he's got slipstream. Dusty Fossil. Use a splash coming on to straight. Biggles down the inside early this time though, and I think this will be moved on, is it? No, Dusty Fossil's got to hang on on the outside again. They bang wheels. Dusty Fossil's using the overtake. Biggles is. Really tight to the corner, Dusty Fossil's going to try and hang around the outside, but Biggles is through, but switches back superbly. Oh, why the old fox that Dusty Fossil is there. Using his noose and superbly defending his place there. Sent Biggles for a hot dog. And on safe is now him. there. So now Biggles is defending and attacking. Up front, the gap is still a second. Homer doing a superb job of keeping Lennon at arm's length. Lennon's tyres have gone off. So now Homer's tyres have been better nicked than Lennon's, but he'll still have a little bit more grip. Can he get close enough to, uh, for an opportunity? They're both low on overtake. They've got a dribble left each. Indeed, a very bit... Oh, was that off? Might be Nobby Norris. That's a joke, don't worry. Okay. Homer's having to jink down the stretch and break the slipstream. Into turn one, Lennon's got close. Homer gets it stopped though. Lennon's gonna have another chance down here, is he? Oh, he's had a big slide. And the opportunity's gone for now. Here we go again, Biggles versus Dusty Fossil. 
Biggles Dutch to the outside. Defending. Dusty Fossil to the inside using his overtake once again. They're side by side. Into the braking zone. Is Biggles going to try and switch back this time? Dusty Fossil parks it though superbly on the apex. And Biggles has to check up. And then uses a slash of overtake to pull away again. Great defending from Dusty Fossil. And Unsafe is still trying to buy into this as well. Up front, the gap star for second. Lennon is right there, but his front left tyre is looking very second-hand. Oh, Just... Carl's oh, parked it there on the apex. Biggles has tapped him. Unsafe up the inside. Oh, oh look at the air wash there. Out. Unsafe almost off on the exit of the corner. They should kind of bring Zach back in. Oh, it's been chased for the lead. Time. Oh, we've missed it. I've come back and there's been a change for the lead. Lennon's through. Oh, Lennon's got the move done. Homer's superb defence has been breached as they start the final lap. Lennon using his overtake then to try and pull away. Was it a mistake from Homer? It was. He's six seconds down. Yeah. A 1 minute 33 lap time. He's made a mistake somewhere there, Homer. Ah, oh, at the critical time. He's done a Jordan. Made a mistake. The lead for so long. Indeed, strategy has been superb, but Lennon looks like he might prevail here. If that front left tire will hang on for this last lap, can Homer get back on terms? If that front left tire drops off through one of the high speed corners at the end of the lap. He might be able to get there. Meanwhile, Biggles has not found the way through again. Dusty Bossler has got no overtake left. Switchback has also just been chomping into the, the C3 ahead of him. He started battling, he's closed in, but he's got to run out of laps. Everybody else is fairly spread out now. Yeah, our old Spice is defending Biggles really well. Dane, great nickname, we love it. Oh, it's just Up to the, the overtake. Ooh, from Biggles is coming in hot there. Them. Safe is wide. Carl's used his but, overtake here perfectly to defend oh, from Biggles. Lennon's running out front tire at the final corner. He's just about got a turn though. And Lennon will be victorious. It's a double win in week one for Lennon. He's victorious in race two. The Super Formula race. Homer gets P2. Blue Flag is going to get P3. Great drive from him. Of course, there's Lennon ahead of Panda. What's going on behind then? Dusty Fossil. He's driven superbly. It's been a superb defensive performance from him. He's just got one more corner to navigate. Oh, but Biggles has got a good run. It's not enough. Dusty Fossil P5, oh, Biggles P6, wow. unsafe P7. Switchback gets P8. Joker crosses the line P14. round in ninth, I think. Aaron, yep. Yeah, he's got a big gap behind him, so he's under no Jersey, threat. Jersey, two and a half seconds. To two now to Arsenal. Watching Jonesy is like having an acid trip. And of course, there's the line then. Uh, it's going to be P10 for Royston. It's a Good great result. Anyway. Good pace early on. Well, that spin cost him dearly. Yeah, he had a couple. Jonesy's catching him. Very quickly as well. You just have to be careful here. <laughs> We've got one corner to go. Old Jones, he just cuts to the last corner. <laughs> yes, he a big old send. Because it's like there, 11th and 12th. And the final and finisher, finisher will be Norby Norris in 13th. They've done really well there. It was indeed a great race there. Great battle for the win. Some excellent defensive performances in there. But the man who managed to break the resistance is Lennon. Then it's a double victory in week one for him. So he will be leading the championship. Great drive there from him. Yeah, it was a Homer, great who did a superb job there strategy-wise, put himself in the mix at Lennon's spin there. There might have been a different story had Lennon not had that spin. It cost himself, what, about four seconds? Yeah, definitely. But uh, nothing away from Homer. That was a superb drive from him there, keeping Lennon at bay for so long. His lap time the only one. Oh no, sorry, to be fair, switchback on the 26s as well. Look, 26-3 from him there. Uh, blue flag there, a solid run to P3. Had Panda and Biggles and all sorts chasing him down in that race, but uh, kept them all at bay like only he can. Great P3 for him then, so second and a third from him. He's had a good start to the season. Panda comes through for P4. 
what might have been for him had he not had that off in the Porsche race. Dusty Fossil there, we've just seen him put up a defensive masterclass, taking P5 from Biggles, who just could not find a way through. And on safe there, he was keeping a watching brief, tried to make moves, but ends up settling for P7. Switchback came back for P8. Aaron gets P9. Royston P10. Jordan down in P11 at the end there, just holding off Jonesy. He gets P12. No, I was in P13. Had a good battle with Jonesy early on. And then Joker, a few laps down there. Struggling a little bit with the car here. But uh, next week should be a little bit more to his fancy. Of course, we are at the Cathedral of Speed. That is Monza playing host to round two. Uh, but tomorrow here is GT1. And we are back here at Autopolis for a second helping of the action tonight. So a lot to live up to for us tomorrow. Uh, Especially with that two. action to go off. Indeed, Can two, I just two, say, two. I think my personal driver of the day was definitely uh, Lusty Fossil, the old Spice himself. Spice I would say he's yeah, made a solid, different. solid race in the Porsches. Good race in that one. Great, yeah. great driver of the day for me. Sorry, okay. Lou. Anyway, feel free yeah, Bob, to join Thank us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining me. Appreciate your assistance. Uh, of course. My pleasure. My darling. My hero. Indeed. All right, then. So we are back tomorrow at 8.30. Uh, for FTRL GT1 please do join uh, I believe it's Joker and Jonesy on comms tomorrow so please do join them for that if you haven't really liked the stream before you go please do so helps out immensely and if you haven't really liked subscribe to the channel please do so and also if you'd like to get involved in FTRL please do get in touch with us uh, our twitter is, un is at underscore FTRL underscore uh, there's a link to the discord there as well so hop in the server talk to us get involved in some of this great racing action and be the next legend uh, but from us for this evening, thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you tomorrow for more great racing action. Up the villa. I'll push the button, but the bloody controller's broken. Stop. Let me play for the stream! <laughs>